So I had somebody wish me a uh, hashtag Whamageddon the other day, and I had no idea what they meant. I had to look into it. Like the band? Yeah. Have you heard of this? Whamageddon, and I'm, I'm sure most people have blown it by now. The whole concept was you go from December 1st to December 24th without hearing Wham's Last Christmas. Oh. And when you do, you have to post on social media, hashtag Whamageddon. Funny. Yeah. I mean, I first of all, I blew it intentionally. Yeah. Way before December 1st. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did, you absolute fiend. <laughs> Man, I have loved listening to Christmas music this year. You know you've listened to too much Christmas music, though, when you start to make up um, alternate lyrics for Christmas oh, yeah. music. And this is um, this is something I used to do at the radio station, and then everybody else started doing it too. Oh, so you're a real trendsetter. Yeah, well, I don't know. I just I it sort of I think it helps you. It helps save your sanity. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think retail workers could benefit from doing this too. But you know, just singing alternate lyrics to Christmas songs. Yeah. Like. Uh, Did you want to give an example? Yeah. I'll be stoned for Christmas. <laughs> Give me all your weed. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. Or, That's funny. Have a honky chonky Christmas. <laughs> it's the fat time of the year. <laughs> Something like that. That's cute. I won't tell you what I sing to Hoopty Doo and Dickory Dock, and don't forget to hang up your sock. Right. I won't tell tell you what those alternate lyrics we, we won't grace your ears with that no <laughs> no i mean you don't want to end up in jail again <laughs> no no i don't well yeah. that's the thing about this show though is if you consume it that's on you right you know you ought to know thank you alanis morissette <laughs> do you have any christmas songs you hate hate Ooh, like, that's loathe. a good question just a Did I say question instead of question i think i said question I don't know. <laughs> One of these days, um, we need to get a oh, playback. Honestly, I don't like Mary Did You Know. Okay. It's just slow and not fun, and it's kind of annoying, and it's like, it's just kind of a dumb concept. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, she did know. Right. She was literally it told by an angel. right there in the Bible. Yeah. The whole premise of the song is n null and void. You know, honestly, it's like when a kid does a... a project for a, a book report uh -huh. and he didn't read the book <laughs> and missed some vital information. So, you know, he got a summary online and he kind of gets it and stuff, but it's like, um, bro, that was addressed like really early on. You didn't uh, notice that? It, sh it should have been <clears throat> the singer doesn't know that Mary <laughs> knew that she would someday, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're basically calling yourself out yeah. for asking if she knew. Yeah. Because, uh, of course, she did. Yes. The other one that's just a yawn fest for me, I'll call it an emotional assault song. Yeah. The Christmas Shoes. Oh, that one's sad. It is. And it's made up. Yeah. And these guys, new song, I think. And mm -hmm. I think they're a Christian band uh, who came out with it whenever they came, 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. All they did was think of something sad and put it in a song. Yeah. First of all, if your mom's dying in the hospital, the last thing you're going to go and do if you're a kid with no money is go to a shoe store. Right. Can you imagine a kid at a pay less? Yeah. Your mom's dying? Dude, I'm not going to give you money for the shoes. I'm going to take you back to the hospital right. where you can be with your dying mom. Right. Well, and also... She's in a bed. She it, doesn't need the shoes. It's a if anything, get her flowers. Yeah. Or slippers. R or socks. Yeah. Christmas this, socks. This kid is just really bad at choosing gifts. This kid has very poor judgment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's sad though. You know, that's one of my friends' not favorite Christmas songs, but she really likes it. Let's okay. Let's come up with an equally sad premise right here on the spot. Okay, I'm down. Okay. Um. Your dog is dying. Rango's dying. Oh. Like he, he got hit by a car because of the slick roads. Oh, no. How am I doing so far? That's just terrible, That's right? That's terrible. So why would you even bring it up? Much less put it in a song. And then why would I go to, let's see here. Um, 
I'm going to go to a Maverick for a bag of ice. I mean, I guess it could help preserve his carcass <laughs> until <laughs> I could bury it. I it's mean, just that, so to be disjointed. Fair, that is a more useful gift than those shoes were to that mom. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm trying to think of something so Now, if you stupid. went and got him a new collar yeah. as he's bleeding out in the road. Right. That would be an yeah. unnecessary accessory. Yeah. Yeah. You know what the kid should have done? He should have bought new shoes for his new mommy. There we go. That yeah. he was going to get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he's an orphan. I thought, Ooh, that'd be a bummer. I thought we said we were former terrible people. Ooh, I know. We're so bad. <laughs> but that's the thing. That's made up. Right. That's it's true. not real. Yeah. We're not making fun of a real kid. I have a dead mom. That's true. I didn't. Well, I didn't have time to go buy her shoes. Uh-huh. But um, I wouldn't have. Because that's a weird <laughs> gift. Yeah. You know, and also everyone I so know. So if that's made up, then I can make something up too. Right. Well, and also everyone I know who has a dead mom makes dead mom jokes. Yes. You know, I had somebody once tell me, I can tell that you've never had anybody special um, pass away in your life because you say died and not pass away. And now that I've had a few important people, my sister, my mom, my mm -hmm. grandma, grandpa, mm -hmm. die... Now that they're dead, mm -hmm. I still say dead. Right. Here we go. It seems like the whole theme of this conversation tonight, Carl, is um, we speak at the speed of reality and don't really worry about feelings. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say that we don't worry about feelings, but the fact of the matter is- When we talk to each other. Especially when we talk to each other. Yeah. 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 Because we know how the other actually feels. I can be extremely sensitive to other people. In fact, I'm more mm. sensitive to other people. Well, yeah, because you all- you and I just communicate. We understand each other so well. Yeah. And we already get where the other one's coming from. We have so much established foundation. We don't need the extra flourishes because we already get each other so intrinsically. Yeah. Yeah. Well said. Thank you. Well said. My mom is dead. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. You know what? What if... um. The, going back to the dead dog story, <laughs> yeah. what if the dog was hit by Let's Santa? Let's lighten it up a little. <laughs> Rango got run over <laughs> by a reindeer. <laughs> oh. That's another one I can't That's stand. Sad. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, I at least liked that one. It was kind of fun, but it did always make me kind of sad. I was like, and we're so jolly about it. Like, yeah. is she okay? I don't know if we ever get confirmation that the grandma's alive at the end of the song. Oh, no. No, she's absolutely she's dead, dead. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. That's so messed up. Yeah. <laughs> you know they made a kid's movie about that? Did they really? Yeah, it was called Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Yeah. Although, well, I would think it would be. Yeah, but I don't think that she died in it. I think she just, like, lost her memory or something. Okay. Yeah. She came stumbling back on New Year's Eve. Well, no, I think they went out and found her in the snow or something, and she was, like, very unwell. Yeah. And also, like... Santa didn't do shit. <laughs> like, he did not help her. <laughs> she was probably three sheets to the wind. He looked back and went, oh, it's, it's probably just a speed bump. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> At least that's how I remember it. I could. There's probably some, like, grandma got run over by the reindeer fanatic in the comments right now. Like, that's not true. Santa's the one who took her to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs>